What I'm raising is the very obvious and truthful and, par and painful question that Israel was created as a Jewish state, and a Jewish state, by definition, must be in the hands of the Jewish people. You sit down with your enemy, but you, but you tell them, no, this land is ours, it's not yours. You had an opportunity in 1947 to, to, to uh, have it. You said no, you went to war, you gambled, you lost, you lost, you lose. We have made it clear that any Arab who is prepared to accept the fact that Israel is a Jewish state, and is willing to live in Israel as a non-citizen with all his personal rights, must be allowed to stay in the country, must be treated on a personal level exactly as we treat a Jew. I put it to you that people who are worried about violence against our enemies are people who have guilt feelings about whether we, sh we really should be there. Mm -hmm. And that's a real problem. I'll use as much violence as is necessary to save a Jewish life, as much as is necessary. And the Jewish people is one that stands on two legs, nationalism and religion. And together they combine a Jewish nation. Who learned the Bible? It's become a forgotten thing. And that's why we have forgotten the role models, the real role models. Who were the great Jews when they were normal? And you can only be normal when you live in your own country. We are paying the price today for the, for the terrible mistake in 1967 when Israel fought a war in which it was almost wiped out and won that war in six days and did not annex the uh, territories. The question is not peace, but whether Israel will survive. You annex the territories, you transfer the Arabs out, and I know that the world will be upset and that's too bad. And then you uh, have faith in God and a strong army. We Jews, having lived for 1900 years, in an exile with no state of our own and suffered all that we have suffered have come to be to so much need to be loved that we feel guilty about everything that whether we have done it or haven't done it look this isn't a game you think that you can start four wars with us lose the four wars and then come back and say let's have peace give us land I'm all for land for peace. I'll have the land and you'll have the peace and it'll teach you a lesson. Don't start wars again. We had suffered for 1900 years because we had no state of our own and we, and we suffered might, mightily for that. And so we decided there is going to be a Jewish state and a Jewish state means a state which we will always run. We, we're, we're, we're in, we are masters of our fate and captains of, of our ship. The tragedy of the exile is that we Jews ceased being a nation, which we always were, and became a religion, which we never were. Judaism is not a religion, and in the entire uh, 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 five books of uh, Moses, you will not find the Hebrew word for, for that. We are an Am Kadosh, a holy nation, Am Nifchar, a chosen people, a, if you will, a religion nation. The fact is that I am committed to democracy for all Jews. We are a chosen people. Of course we are, and we are a holy, no question about it. But if a non-Jew wants to uh, join us, he becomes part of the chosen people. And most Jews have built up a full Judaism in which everybody loves their... It's not true. It's not true. In Judaism, it says there is a time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. There's a time if one comes to slay a Gentile, for the most part, he will hit him back, which is called normal. Jews will say, what did I do to, to, to uh, deserve this? Israel is not mine because of the League of Nations or the UN. It's because we lived there long before there were Arabs. We learned what it meant to live as strangers in someone else's land. And we don't want that anymore. With all due respect to all the Gentiles, they have their countries. We want ours. I don't want to be a minority again, ever again.